Hello YouTube and welcome Diecast family to another Muscle Car Monday. And this Monday, we got a bunch of awesome cars as always. But we're going to start out with this M2 Auto Lifts. And we got the 1971 Plymouth Hemi Cuda. And yep, there's a burgundy one. So we're going to check this out. Man, I bought this Gonzo Firebird knife. I think most of their knives are between $16 and $26. And holy cow. Let me show you guys real quick. How easy this opens. You just barely push on that. It's not spring assisted, so it, it drops shut. But it just, it has ball bearings, and I think it might be D2 steel. Or maybe this is 440 stainless. No, it's D2. And they uh, actually sent it out and tested it, and it tested for D2. Like, just unreal how... All right, but anyways, let's crack this open. I'm just saying for $15 to $26 for these Gonzo knives with D2 steel, you cannot beat it for that price. And with ball bearings. I think the ball bearings work better than the Kirkshaw Spring Assisted which I've been using for the past 20 years. Where's my screwdriver? Guess they only give you a screwdriver with the M2 kits. Or the model kits. I hate how you have to unscrew the lift from the base to unscrew the top car. Just makes four extra screws to get to it. All right, five minutes into the video, we're almost to the two screws holding down the car. All right, got that off the base. And of course this top car has a rubber band on it. So even if you're not a loose collector, I don't know if I would recommend just not buying this because it comes in a blister pack. So you have to open it out of the blister pack to get the rubber bands off. But I would not recommend leaving the rubber bands on it. Now, the bottom one does not have rubber bands, a burgundy one. So, this one has a rubber band holding the hood shut and one holding the door shut. And there we go. At least you got something to look at while I take the burgundy one off the base.
And another M2 lift to add to the collection. I don't know how many of these lifts I have, but it's probably well over 20. And I'm sure if you collect M2s, and you collect them loose, and you're like me, I'm sure you guys all probably have 20, 30, 40 of them lifts sitting around. What do you guys do with them? You hang on to them, throw them in a box, do you use them in your display somewhere? I tried, I tried to even hot glue them together, but uh seems like if you want to set cars on them, you have to grind down them tabs, and that's a big pain in the butt, and uh, I tried hot gluing them together, because you can't screw them together, so you can stack them up to display cars, and uh, it, it was real hard to get them all to sit level, I they just start... They're all slightly off, so by the time you get two or three high, you're really far off. And uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys do with your M2 lifts. So, of course, both of these have opening doors and opening hoods. One in silver looks pretty cool, but if you know me, and you know what I like to collect, then you don't even have to ask. You already know that I had to get it for the Burgundy Car Collection. Next one, got a Cougar that came loose, and I already checked my collection. I did not have this one. I picked it up off of eBay loose, and I, I don't know. Comment down below what this came from. Uh, this is really wrapped up in some tape. I'm trying to cut it all off and get through it. Holy cow, between every wrap and roll of the bubble wrap, they put tape around it too. Oh, we're almost there. But comment down below if you guys know what Hot Wheels release this is from. Is it a multi-pack exclusive? Is it new for 2022? What year did this come out? Because I this is a casting I collect, and this is an awesome looking paint scheme. And I don't remember it being released. So please comment down below if you have any information on this. Uh, when I found it loose on eBay, the seller didn't have nothing listed about it besides it was a Hot Wheels... Uh, Hot Wheels Mercury Cougar, 68 Mercury Cougar. So let me know when this came out. I'm sure somebody out there knows. Then next we hear, we got a couple Johnny Lightnings. First up is going to be this Johnny Lightning. 2005 new cars. Don't know why it says lightning strike. 
2005 new cars. Pontiac GTO. So, I know, I know, it looks like a Grand Dam or a Grand Prix or something. Like, what's the big, big deal about this? Well, these came out in 2005, looks like. Playing Manus Air. And this kind of was like a modern day... take on the GTO I guess uh, these are rear wheel drive I think they only made these for like two years just like the G8 or something they only made for like a year uh, so these are pretty rare but there has been a couple people who made them into drift cars especially back in the day when it was a new car because uh, they were rear wheel drive And they came with the V8 and stick shift. So. But yeah, it definitely looks like a G6, G8, Grand Am, Grand Prix. Depending on how old you are. And what you remember from Pontiac. But definitely looks like a Pontiac from the early 2000s. I only seen one one time in real life right after they came out. And uh, it was at a red light and yeah, you could really hear it rumbling. So, sticking with GTOs, but let's go back to something definitely more muscle car-ish. is a 69 Dodge Daytona. From Johnny Lightning Street Freaks, 100%. Die cast metal body and chassis. Bonus sticker fits our six car inner uh, locking showcase. Hmm. Oh. Looks like it came out in 2003, 2004 ish. So almost around the same time as this one. So this is a Corgi exclusive. So I think Corgi owned them before playing Manus or praying Manus, whatever it is. And for a second, I thought that had rubber tires on it. They're huge, big black, black walls, but, uh, they look like big meaty rubber tires for a second. Try and stay away from the zingers, but man, something about a Daytona or a Superbird I cannot resist with this fin. So, there you have it. Just might be something I collect. I don't know. Out of all the Zingers, this is definitely my favorite one. Is the Daytonas and Superbirds. Just like the tuned uh, Hot Wheels. The goofy little tuned Hot Wheels. In the past, before the new ones that came out this past year, uh, they were always my favorite. I absolutely loved them. Uh, out of the all the uh, tuned ones they made back then, the Camaro and Mustang was ugly, but uh, it, there was just something about the Daytona that had the big fin on it, but being short and smushed up, I loved. So it was one I collected from them. And I have this one sitting out. But we have another zinger here. I think I might have showed it last week. I just never put it away. But this one's in flat black. So I had to have it. It looks freaking awesome in flat black. 
So yeah, I guess I have a little a little zinger collection going now. I probably have at least six of them. But man, this one in flat black with purple. Holy cow. Something about this is just freaking killing it. Loving it. Well, there's a look at a bunch of muscle cars for this Muscle Car Monday. Let me know which one was your favorite one. Mine might be that burgundy one. Man, I love that thing. That just looks freaking awesome in burgundy. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.